Hey, good morning everyone. This is Sue, your Pamper Chuck consultant, and we are gonna make some homemade peanut butter. We are going to use dry roasted peanuts. We're just gonna measure out three cups. Now the recipe did call for unsalted, and then you're supposed to add your own amount of salt into it, but I forgot. So when I bought, I bought the pre-salted. So if, there, if the peanut butter is too salty, well, I'll just have to make a peanut butter coffee cake or a peanut butter uh, cookie or some other recipe with it. But we are going to use our new deluxe cooking blender. We are going to set it to the grind setting. What is different about this than any other cooking blender that you see on the market is that those just use friction to cook. Ours actually has a heating element into the base here. And so we have a patent pending on our jelly jam setting. You can cook soups and sauces. You can actually make um, heated purees. You can make jellies and jams. You can make alternative milks like almond milk. You can grind grains. I'm gonna be doing some oatmeal in here um, to make some oat pancakes. And you can also grind, um, obviously, smoothies, but we're going to grind peanut butter. So if you are using cashews, you'll need oil with them, but with peanuts, you don't. There's enough oil with it. You're just going to lock the lid and turn the spin dial till it says grind. And then push the center in, and in 2 minutes and 20 seconds, I'm going to have homemade peanut butter. Now, I've already made homemade jelly, which I've never done before. Very fun, very easy. So homemade jelly is just putting your strawberries in with your pectin and then, um, hold on, I gotta show you the tamper. So, you take your tamper. peanuts and salt in it, no other chemicals. So I saved one of the Teddy's uh, ball jar glasses for peanut butter and I'm gonna scoop it into that and then I'm gonna stick it in my fridge. So thanks for watching Sue's Cooking. I will see you all online.